Hey, what's up street gods? It's Eric Kim from the Eric Kim Street Photography Blog. So just wanted to show you a quick workflow of how I use Visco on a phone. So I'm currently on a Samsung Android device. So essentially what you do is I just, whenever I'm shooting, I just use the default camera app and I'm just taking photos and you can see me here. Hey, what's up guys? So anyways, usually when I'm out shooting I think shooting with the phone is a good exercise and so what I'll first do is I'll just kind of look at my camera and there's different ways you could do it you could just kind of do the photos in um, reverse chronological order is actually what I recommend which means look at your photos backwards and the benefit of looking at your photos backwards is that generally the photos you shot at the very end tend to be more interesting photos and generally what I would recommend is when you're looking through your photos just kind of flip through them quickly, and then whenever you like a photo, you just kind of start, or heart it, or whatever, depending on whatever device you're using. So this is like a series of photos I shot when I was just leaving the gym, and just kind of realized that there's so many good opportunities for you to take photos, regardless of where you are. And honestly, I used to be more dogmatic about like, you know, just stay consistent with your camera, blah, blah. But honestly, you know, just shoot with whatever, shoot with your phone especially if you want to see shoot more and just yeah keep training your your visual eye it's kind of like this one just came out for the gym i like the guy with the <laughs> the donut rotisserie chicken batman his girlfriend maybe they're both coming back from the gym so to know that you could essentially make good photos and street photos even when you're shooting in the suburbs or even one thing i like to do is shooting just like little simple abstracts so I kind of like this because there's that line in the bottom left corner. I'm going to heart that. And even experimenting with different compositions. So I would say when you're first looking through these photos, just essentially look for photos that just kind of hop at you and just don't think about it too much and just kind of go through it quickly. And the quick tip I would do is when you're looking at the photo, just follow your gut is if your gut says the photo is a good photo, just kind of start and then we'll kind of figure out what to do with it afterwards. I kind of like this guy, it looks like a person here. And I kind of did the <laughs> example pose here too. And the more I start thinking about it, shooting with the phone is really good because it's kind of like visual exercises. It's kind of a good way to keep your eyes sharp regardless of what situation you are. And you could even see a tip is when I'm shooting these diagonals, I try to get the diagonal in the bottom left corner. And honestly, at this point, all phone cameras are pretty good. So don't worry too much about what camera that you're shooting with. There's not really a, an optimal camera to shoot with. So I'm just kind of quickly swiping through all these photos. <laughs> kind of like that one. Keep swiping. And then sometimes you could just look at them in small thumbnails. Okay, anyways, so I looked through all the photos and I just kind of favorited the ones I really liked. And then you go back to albums and just go to favorites. And generally what I'll do is I'll just kind of push and hold these photos and then just select all these photos and click share on the top. And then I go to Visco and then import it into Visco. So there's so many different ways to process your photos. I'm a huge fan of VSCO. And I'm a big fan of the A6 preset. And actually the new N1, new modern preset, actually looks really good too. And I would just, as a practical tip, is if you just want to make your photos look consistent, just stick to one preset. So you can see these are all the photos that I imported and I shot. And generally what I would recommend is, given a certain scene, just try to choose one photo of the scene. So for example, I shot a bunch of photos of this little shadow here. And I think this one looks the best because it's the most simple. And I'll just look at those other ones. Oops. Open up Visco again. And these other ones I don't like, so I'll just tap those in the bottom right corner. Click delete. And I'll open up this one. And then I'll press the little adjustment tool and just apply the A6 preset. And if you want to adjust the strength of it, just tap it once. Drag it left and right and then just kind of adjust until it looks good to you. And then usually what I'll do is I'll play with the, then you play with the exposure, add a little contrast. Once it looks about 80% good to you, just click save. 
and then the bottom right corner save to gallery so that looks pretty good to me so far and even if you want to speed up your workflow you could just click the image in the bottom right corner click copy edits and then you could select all the other images that you kind of liked already and then click paste edits and this is just a quick way for you to apply the same preset and the same aesthetic and look to your other images and it's just once again a good way for you to just kind of speed up your workflow because anything that could help you speed up your workflow is generally good. I still like this photo shot head on, bottom right corner, click save to gallery. And I shot this around sunset so the light looks good. So now I have a bunch of photos, I have two photos of this Mustang. Here you can see the exposure is a little bit high from the preset so I could just minus the exposure here to make it look better. It looks pretty good. Click save bring this one and this photo kind of prefer the second photo because it's more dynamic with the angle so bottom right corner click delete and then bottom right corner click save to gallery cool and I kind of like this one here just simple and I'm just going to lower the exposure to bring out the colors a little bit more that's good. Add, maybe I'll add a little contrast. Cool. Save. Bottom right corner, click Save to Gallery. And I look pretty good. So the other photos that I don't like, to just keep this clean, bottom right corner, click Delete. And yeah, if I go back to my gallery, and you can see all of the, the photos in my Visco folder, you can see these are my final photos that I shot and yeah the colors actually look pretty good and it's a nice reminder that it don't really matter so much what camera you use and generally what I like to do is then I'll open up the browser and because I'm a blogger <laughs> I like to I actually recommend using more um, hosting photos on your own platform so using wordpress.org and I recommend using bluehost.com or 101.com so suburb street photography and then i could just click text add media upload files select files click files and to select more than one image click and hold click 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 open and then I just wait for the photos to upload and import. So yeah, so that's the basic overview. Essentially, once again, some practical takeaways is stay the, keep the same preset, whatever you like. I'm a big fan of the A6 preset. Also, if you're just curious, I shot these photos all on a Samsung Galaxy S7 with HDR mode on. The colors on Samsung's tend to look pretty good. But once again, at this point, all the cameras are good. Shoot with the a Google Pixel, a OnePlus, a Samsung, an iPhone, it doesn't really matter at this point. Just make photos that put a smile on your face and remember to always exercise your visual muscles.